My name is Dixon Wanyu. I'm married to Naomi Wairimo, and we serve here in Kadi, uh, Masabi County as a uh, as missionaries to Berendile Berendile people group who are basically two sides. Uh, uh, but so to say, they are still unreached or basically least rich to mean that the gospel is not yet saturated uh, to a point that it can be self duplicating they still need uh, like outside uh, um, missionaries from outside to come and and help with the work and we've been here for uh, the last uh, 10 years yeah, the Rendile community has quite vastness, as we said, they are unreached. We came here as teachers, that was our entry point, and the whole community actually knows us as teachers, which helped us to like get to everywhere. When you're a teacher, everyone accepts you, but uh, we have since moved on and like gotten into the community, penetrated. With the land that we were given, there are so many things that we have been trusting God that we will accomplish. One of it being, there's always hunger. There's always hunger in the community. And we've been really praying and trusting God that if one time in our land we'd have good fencing and like good water. Now that at least we have two boreholes in Kardi, we can pipe the water to the land and do a little irrigation here and there. As a pilot and even as, as, as a sustainable thing to the community, would create employment, would create, you know, sustainability, such things. Um, we've always thought and planned on how to empower the men, the young men. Many times you, you come during the day and you would not see a young man walking around. Why? They spend the night chewing mirror, so they, the whole day they are sleeping. They have nothing to do at the end of the day. So we've been trusting God to have things to do to engage them in. He does mechanic, he makes their border borders. And many times when he's making your bike, he wants you to check what he's doing in a way of like helping them to train. As they are checking what he's doing and learning a, a, a thing or two, He'll, he'll just have a way of bringing in the gospel, pole pole. And we praise the Lord for the Makiga machine, which is actually such a breakthrough. Because as we make the machines, as they come, because some will come, not even to make the bricks, but to just watch, yeah? To watch what is happening. Idleness is one of the things they have here. As they come to idle around, and things are happening, in the, and, and the machine is continuing to, to make the bricks, the gospel will penetrate to them. For the women, we've always thought about bakeries. Um, the other day, a few women uh, just approached me and asked me if they could make soap, you know. And they have been trying to bring in a few coins. Actually, they have they on the on the changa few shillings, and they want me to help them buy the ingredients to start a soap making project. Uh. As Memory Baptist Church, we intend to do a missions outpost where we will host the missionaries that are on the ground, where we'll be able to, be, to host the missionaries in church and even other churches of like-minded faith. Uh, we also intend to do, uh, to empower the young people, especially by doing a resource center where we'll teach them uh, things like computer skills, uh, teach the women and the girls on how to, uh, on the hygienic way of bringing up their children 
and even uh, teaching them on how to give their uh, their parents, uh, their their children, a balanced diet type of food. Uh, we also intend to have our own young people visiting so that they integrate the young people in this area. Just encourage them so that they may see that life is different in other places and not just the kind of life they live, they live here. I'm the current chair of the men's ministry at Manly Baptist Church. I want to thank men for plugging in for this uh, cardio mission station for the first phase. We managed to buy the Makiga brick making machine, but the long term vision is to build an, a mission station for the missionaries here. I want to thank men who plugged in, even as we go forward with the future phases to build a house for the host station and also additional facilities. We want to thank you for doing that. May God bless you and, and, and as you plug into the mission station. <laughs>